You already know that you can make a beautiful event page with simple text. But did you know that you can also embed simple text directly in your existing website? In this video, we'll show you how to do it. We'll start off with some simple examples and then we'll go into some more advanced options. All right, let's get started. We'll click events from our dashboard to see all of our events. Now we'll click one of our events and under promote in the list over here, we'll choose embed. And now we'll get the embeddable widget code where we can embed simple text directly in our website. The default is list of dates and times. You can also switch over to a calendar mode, which we'll discuss a little bit later. But for now, let's just grab the default example of what the embed code would look like. And we'll put it right here in the HTML of our page. This is it right here. We made no changes. And let's go ahead and take a look at our page right now. And here's how the embed code would look like. So people can um, you know, see this page and they can select tickets directly from this page. And they can even check out too. And they can even pay with a credit card automatically all on your page right here. If you have survey questions or attendee questions, they can also answer them all on your website without ever leaving your website. So that was the most basic example. Now let me show you some more advanced options. So there's an option over here to see a calendar. And if you have multiple dates and times, the calendar might be a better option. So I'll click calendar. When I do that, the HTML code will change a little bit. And let me show you now an example of how that would look. And here's the calendar view. And basically, as you could assume, you'll see the calendar. And when you click it, you'll actually see all the times per date. So for example, here's the 23rd, you see a 11 o'clock, a 12 o'clock, a one o'clock. So this is a cave tour that has multiple time slots per day. So this is really helpful for them. We've recently added a new feature today where you can include event description inside the embeddable widget. So here's an example where you see the event title, the event date, um, the event description, as well as the event image, plus the ability to buy tickets all in the same view. Let me show you how to set that up. So here's the embed code for this example. And there's another query string called include. And if you put event image here, event desk like this, it will include the event image and the event description. But if you'd want, want to just include the event description with no image, you can totally do that like this. And let me show you how that would look. I'll hit refresh on this page. And now you only have the event description with no picture. Vice versa, if you only wanted the picture with no event description, let me show you what that would look like. I'll hit save. I'll hit refresh, and here's the event picture um, with no description. But if you'd like both side by side, go ahead and do it like this right here. And I'll click refresh, and you can kind of see how this looks. So this is a brand new feature. Um, we haven't added support for this yet um, over here for the buttons that you click, um, but I just want to show it to you. And the final example that I'll show you today is very advanced. It's the ability to include multiple events on your same widget. So here's um, an embeddable widget here with multiple events. So here we have a culinary tour and they have different classes. They have a Sunday class, a Monday class. These are all different events. And over here, um, the code for that would be like right here. Um, so it would be embeds.simpletext.com. You have show IDs. So normally it's just ID singular, um, but here it's plural IDs and it has all of the ID numbers of the events right here. Now, if you wanna change these, um, this is how you can change the sort order of how they'll, they will appear. So for example, let me kind of move these to the back right here and then I'll click save. So basically just front loaded these ones, put these ones in the back and when I hit refresh here, you'll notice the order has changed. These two events are now on the top of the list. The beauty of this is this allows people to buy tickets for different events all in the same order. Thanks for watching our videos today on how to use our embeddable widget where you can embed simple ticks directly on your website. If you like this video, please click the like button and also click the subscribe button. That way you get notified every time we release a new video.